Okay, starting off turn four with Arjun. In turn three, um, we know we continued the beat down up on our heroes, so they're in pretty bad shape. Arjun's down to two hit points, and he is slowed, and Alyssa went down in the last turn. So yeah, things are not going too well for us. So let's see what we can do to hopefully turn this around, but I don't have a whole lot of hope for the outcome of the, of the of this adventure but arjun is uh he is adjacent to that spider so maybe he can at least take it out and uh all right so let's have arjun use the tide of iron against the spider so he gets a plus eight on that attack so yeah let's go ahead and do that And that's an 18, so yeah, at least he was able to hit the spider. Even without the plus 8, that's going to be enough to kill it. So the spider goes down, we'll add that to our experience pile. So let's uh, update our monster so that I know that the ghoul is gone, the spider is gone. So Arjun did not need a token. He has not yet moved, but he did attack. He killed, so he will get a treasure item. So let's go ahead and take the spider out of the game and draw a treasure item for Arjun. Dragon's Breath Elixir, this is identical to uh, a power that he already has but I guess this kind of lets him use this power twice. Um, okay so that's going to be it for that. Now he can move but he can only move two because he's slowed until the end of his hero phase. And unfortunately, uh, well, let's see, one, yeah, if he moves here, one, two, he won't be on an unexplored edge. Hmm, let's see. We were kind of originally going that way, but let's, uh, I guess we'll start coming back this way. So we'll have him move his uh, move speed. One, two. And that will be the end of his turn, so that, or the end of his hero phase, so the slow down goes away. But since he didn't explore, he will have to take an encounter. So he attacked, he moved, got his treasure, did not explore. So no new tile, no new monster. The slowed is gone, but we do have to have an encounter. He can cancel it, but because of the chaos magic, if he cancels it, he takes one damage, but that might be the lesser evil. So let's draw the encounter and see what we get. Ambush. We'll probably go, yeah, we'll take, we'll go ahead and play this one out. You attack each hero on the active hero's tile, because that's just going to be Arjun. Um, well, hmm, you also have to place a monster. But if it hits, it slows you down, and that's all it does. If it weren't for that, it's an, if it weren't for place a new monster, it kind of makes it a no-brainer. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it, even though there are far, far worse, but um, I just don't want to deal with another monster right now, with, especially since we didn't explore. So we pay the five to get rid of that, and yeah, I kinda, you know, we, t we have to take one damage, but I it doesn't matter. I mean, this this game has gone so poorly, I don't see any chance of us getting out of this. But let's, uh, so now it's going to be Alyssa's turn. She will use one of our tokens, so yes. So she uses a token. She's back to four hit points. So she springs back into action. Who, what, where, when, why, how. And as far as what she's going to do, it's a no-brainer. She has that careful attack. So she's going to ping the skeleton to take it down. So just put this into our experience pile. Skeleton goes down because it only has one HP. So Alyssa, she attacked, she killed, so she does get a treasure item. So let's see what kind of treasure Alyssa gets. Scroll of Teleportation. Choose any number of heroes on your tile and place them on another tile. Pretty worthless, I would say. But um, 
Oh man, I forgot she had that. I would definitely have just had her take a hit point, but it, I, I feel like it's too late now because I already took the treasure. But next turn, I'll try to remember if she has that. But what we can do is we can cash that in for a power. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and have her move her speed. And we'll just put her, uh, we'll put her down here on the bone pile again. She can use scout, so she doesn't have to be on an unexplored edge, but we will have her explore. So she did all that. She moved. That's the end of her hero phase. So now she will explore. And we get a black triangle, so we're going to have an encounter that we can't do anything about. So maybe we wasted, maybe we wasted the uh, previous um, cancellation, but we'll see. Uh, monster for drawing a new tile. And we get a skeleton, another skeleton. Place down the skeleton on the bone pile. So we get a black, we got a, another skeleton. And we have an encounter, so that skeleton died, but we now we have another one. And let's see what kind of encounter we got. Give me just just give me an encounter that just says you just lose the game. <laughs> so we got a trap and uh, attack each here within one tile. So yeah, these are these are this is pretty close to you just lose the game. So that's going to be a spear gauntlet. So it's going to be the very last one. Alright, so we put a trap down. And traps work like monsters, so place that here. So Alyssa has a skeleton and a spear. Let's put spear G. Okay, so we played out the encounter because the encounter brought about the trap. Now the skeleton activates. The skeleton is adjacent. It's not. If it's within a tile, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with charge and slice. So that's going to be Arjun. He's ever so slightly closer. Now, normally monsters move bone pile to bone pile, but if the bone pile is occupied, then you just move them kind of wherever makes sense. And I would say that makes sense to put him just right there. And that's going to attack Arjun with the Charging Slice. If it hits, Arjun's going to go down. So let's roll. It's going to be an 18, so that takes out Arjun. So we're going to have to use our last healing surge to bring Arjun back. So let's go ahead and update here. So Arjun goes down. And... Now the spear gauntlet activates. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Attack each hero within one tile of this trap. Hit or miss, it does damage. If it hits, it does three. If it misses, it does one. It's going to be a plus six against Alyssa. She's the only one standing. And 16, so yeah, that's definitely going to hit. 16 plus six, more than enough, so it's going to do... Three damage, taking Alyssa down to one HP. And, uh, yeah, we're just getting completely wrecked in this adventure. So that's going to be the end of turn four. Uh, yeah, everybody's done everything they can do. So we'll be back with turn number five.